Hello, I'm Scott Fitzgerald, Senior Engineer with Optical Cable Corporation, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to install OCC's Express Connect, LC, and ST connectors onto a 900 micron buffered fiber. The specific tools that you will need are a permanent marker, a fiber optic stripper, a visible fault indicator, the visible fault indicator is optional but highly recommended, a cleaver, a metric ruler, lint-free wipes, and rubbing alcohol. First, slide the 900 micron boot onto the fiber. Strip the fiber to a length of about an inch and a half. This measurement is not critical. From where the 900 micron buffer ends, place a mark at 15.5 millimeters for ST and SC connectors, or at 11.5 millimeters for LC connectors. Clean the stripped fiber with an alcohol wipe and remove any debris. Check the fiber integrity by bending the stripped end slightly at 60 degrees. If the fiber was nicked during stripping, it will likely break during this bending. Set the stripped fiber into the cleaver such that the 900 micron buffered fiber's edge is at the 10.5 millimeter position and cleave it. The wedge clip is engaged at shipment. If it has become dislodged, squeeze the top and bottom of the wedge clip, ensuring it is inserted into the connector body. A click will be heard. Insert the cleaved fiber into the rear of the connector until the mark aligns with the back of the connector body. Make a bend in the fiber to maintain slight pressure on the connection. Release the wedge clip by squeezing both sides until the wedge clip dislocates itself from the connector body. Remove the wedge clip. Slide the boot up and over the rear of the connector body. Your termination is now complete. Use a visual fault indicator, or VFI, as an aid to determine if the fiber and connector are properly connected. Remove the express connector dust cap and insert the connector into the VFI. Turn the VFI on and there will be a red glow in position one of the wedge clip. Insert the cleaved fiber into the rear of the connector until the red glow dims in position one. Make a small bend in the fiber to maintain pressure on the connection. Release the wedge clip by squeezing both sides until the wedge clip dislocates itself from the connector body. Remove the wedge clip. Remove the VFI from the connector. Install the connector housing onto the connector. Reinstall the dust cap onto the connector's ferrule. Slide the boot up and over the rear of the connector body. Your termination is now complete. Congratulations, you have now successfully terminated the OCC Express connector in both LC and ST terminations.